back. In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about um, creating thumbnails if you're doing an environment design. And these are just some techniques and tips that I use when I'm planning my own designs. And it gets you thinking, you know, less about making a boxy environment and making something that's a little bit more irregular. So what I've done here is I've just made a grid of nine wide, you know, areas. And you know, I've just put this grid on its own layer. I'll just call it grid. And I've got a video on how you can make your own grid really quickly. And I'll go ahead and put a link to that in the description. But I wanted to start off by talking about horizon lines. So your horizon line is going to be a really deciding factor here. And the horizon line can be uh, anywhere you wish. And a common thing that I see when folks are working on an interior or an exterior is they put the horizon line right smack dab in the center. And there's nothing wrong with that per se, and sometimes it does call for having a horizon line in the center, but I think you get more of an interesting angle when you vary the horizon line. So instead of keeping it all the way in the middle, you know, you, you move it up slightly, you move it down, and you know, um, you can even make it like a Dutch angle. So I can have it kind of at like an angle like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you three possibilities. I'm not going to go ahead and create a ton of thumbnails here, but let's say you're trying to create an irregularly shaped uh, interior space so just come up with some kind of a geometric structure in this case I've got something that has an angle on one side it's round on the other side and you can put this in the middle uh, but I think it might be more interesting to put it either left or right of center so I'm just gonna move this thing over and then what I'll do is I'll proceed to draw lines that connect back to these points and somewhere in the middle over here this is going to be where I establish the other lines for my grid and I'm going to freehand these in and the way I do it is as follows I think about the overall shape that you can see that this is one side of a trapezoid this is another side of a trapezoid if I find the middle over here and if I find the middle of the taller um, segment I can connect those two and I can rinse and repeat that process to go ahead and create the structures for my grid and then the horizontal lines are just simply they're going to get spaced further and further out as we come towards the viewer right same thing for this curved side so I'll have another curved surface over here find the midpoint find the midpoint and then make those connections. Now I'm freehanding this, right? Uh, and, you know, uh, I think that's something that comes with a little bit more time, you know, being able to use your entire arm when you draw. So I'll go ahead and draw another line out here since this line's almost gonna be out of view. I'm gonna eyeball this one, midpoint, 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 and I'm gonna rotate the canvas to make it easier for me to go ahead and pull my lines and then I can basically create a structure that looks something like this so you don't have to have everything in a very boxy type way right so I've just made an irregular shape here in the floor uh, again extend this line out find the midpoint and then I'm gonna just create a midpoint over here and everything else is going to riff off of that midpoint and then you can draw your grid. And that grid is really, really important when you are actually putting objects within the grid. So I'll do another one here. So this is the first example here that I've got. And uh, I'll just now clean this up. And I'll do another one here too. So let's just say that we have a horizon line that's more towards the top. If something is more towards the top, then we're almost looking at it uh, from like a bird's eye view, right? So it's, you know, uh, I'll go ahead and put a, another irregular shape. Maybe I'll make this more rectangular just to keep the example a little bit simple. So I can extend out on all four sides. And again, I'm avoiding the middle. And so I can find the midpoint here. This segment kind of projects out, so I'm finding the midpoint here. As long as these lines converge roughly to the same vanishing point, you should be in good shape. So 
holding down the shift key to get those straight lines. Find the midpoint here, find the midpoint here. And then rinse and repeat over here, find the midpoint, midpoint, midpoint. midpoint and then this area right here if this extends and this is the midpoint if I put a line segment over here find the halfway point between the middle and the bottom and connect it it doesn't have to be super precise but you can see that you get some very interesting variety when you move that horizon line up or down you're not beholden to keeping everything smack dab in the center so what if you had an interior that you're going to work on, like say, like a, I don't know, like a living room or whatever. Uh, so we'll put the horizon line a little bit lower. We'll create one of our walls. And most living rooms or areas of that nature are going to be boxy-like, right? Not always, but. So we have this box. We have a low horizon line. And we can find the midpoint here. Draw that line segment, find the midpoint on this segment, find the midpoint over here, connect it. Midpoint, midpoint. And remember these grids get further and further away in space. Midpoint. You should get really good at drawing these grids. This is a really important skill to have because not only will you be able to then you know create the enclosed space but you will also be able to draw objects and vehicles etc on that grid so here's another example here so embrace this idea of a gridded structure when you're thinking about planning your environment think about the horizon line and uh, in my next video what I'll do is I'll do a demo where I actually go ahead and put objects into an environment um, utilizing some of the techniques that I'm talking about over here. So I appreciate you watching. Thanks so much, and I will see you in the next video.